Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subjects. In this video, we discuss about the transition diagram for relational operators. See, this is a set of relational operator for the Fortran language less than, less than or equal to, this is not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, uh, and single equal to is uh, used as equal to operator. It is not assignment operator here. Right, I have, uh, I'm grouping these three operators together because it begins with a less than symbol and these two operators I'm grouping because it begins with a greater than symbol and this operator we treat it as separate. <coughs> now for this set of relational operator we are going to draw the transition diagram which recognizes this relational operator. So this is the start state. From the start state we design a transition for the input less than symbol. Right? So from here, it may be further followed by an equal to symbol or this less than symbol may be further followed by this greater than symbol and enters into some other state if it is not followed by any other symbol or if it is followed by other than operator symbol, it enters into other state. So these are all in fact the final states. Why do I call it as final state? From the start state, if it reads less than symbol and if it is further followed by equal to symbol, so this states returns a token. The name of the token is relational operator and the value of this relational operator is less than or equal to. Less than or equal to is given by the symbol LE. Right. From the start state, if this less than symbol is further followed by greater than symbol, then it enters into the state. This is one of the final state. If it reaches this state, it returns the token relational operator and its value is not equal to. Non -e not equal to is given by the symbol NE. Okay. From the start state, it is reading the less than symbol. And further it is followed by some other symbol. It is not any uh, relational operator. It means it should return, the transition diagram should return, the operator type is relational operator and the value is less than symbol. Okay. Now we have uh, defined uh, for three operators, less than or equal to, not equal to and less than. Let us define the transitions for the rest of the symbols also. Now from the start state, we allow the machine to read the symbol equal to because it is separate. Further, it is not followed or preceded by any other symbol. So we are defining a separate uh, transition for this. From the start state, if it happens to read the equal to symbol, then it reaches this state and this state returns the name of the operator is relational operator. And its value is eq eq refers to equal to still these two operators are there that can be easily drawn like this from the start state if it reads greater than symbol this greater than symbol can be followed further by one equal to symbol or it may be followed by some other symbol other symbol means other than operator it can be anything right so in this case it returns a token relational operator and the name of the value is greater than or equal to. In this case, it returns a token with a name relational operator and its value is greater than. Right. This is a transition diagram for relational operator. Let us number the states. Let the start state be 0. This is 1. This is 2, 3, 4. Let the state be 5, 6. 7 and this is 8. Okay. Now we have seen how to implement the or how to design the transition diagram to recognize uh, the tokens relational operator. Now we are going to see the simulation of this or the implementation of this transition diagram. See this method. This is a pseudocode which is written using Java. The written type of the method is token. The name of the method is get relational operator. So what the method does, it just creates a new token with a name written token and its type is given as token 
and uh, what, whenever it is creating that new token it has actually two components the return token has two components the first component is relop so it is nothing but this name the name of the relational operator and the second component is going to be the value so a token is a pair of information that we are already aware the first information is a name of the operator and the second information is nothing but its attribute value so by default when this statement is executed it creates a token whose first value is a name of the operator which is relational operator right till the end of the lexing that is the meaning of this loop switch state so here the state numbers if the state number is zero what it is going to happen if the state number means in the transition diagram if the state number is zero what are the things going to happen so next character is a function which reads the input buffer whatever it reads it is presently available in the variable c if c is equal to less than symbol state value is going to be one otherwise else if c equal to equal to symbol so let us check the transition diagram if the character what is read from the input buffer is equal to symbol then what is the value of the state state is equal to 5 if the red character is greater than symbol let us check what is there in the transition diagram if the red character is greater than symbol then the state value must be equal to 6 state is equal to 6 right otherwise fail fail means when this function will be invoked if the red lexeme is not a relational operator then this function is invoked right so case 1 case 2 case 3 likewise we can write one example case is given case 8 case 8 means we have to check the state number 8 in the transition diagram so in the state number 8 in fact what is happening it is one of the accepting states it has to return the token with a name relational operator and whose value is greater than. So let us see what is implemented here. First, there is a method invoked called retract. I'll explain this little later. Retract is nothing but the input pointer which is reading the input buffer is retracted one position back. That is the meaning of this method. So what, what is the next line? Written token. Written token is the name of that token which is being written and its attribute value is being set as greater than and the same token is being written yeah whatever we have shown in the transition diagram the same thing is implemented when the state value is 8 it has to return the token with the name relational operator and whose attribute value is greater than that is what here in the code the attribute value is set to greater than and it is written in the token the token name is written token here right now we discuss about the functions whatever is used in the code get relational operator is a name of the function right which is the uh, which i have shown in the code what it does it creates a new object written token and this written token contains in fact two components the first component is the name of the operator by default while creating the object only the first component is initialized to relational operator then the second component based on the type of the operator its attribute value will get initialized this might be greater than or less than or equal to etc we have seen no all those attribute values will be initialized here then we have seen one more method in the code called next character it every time reads the next character from the input buffer uh, look into this diagram see this is a lexical analyzer this is the input buffer of course input buffer is implemented as two buffer scheme which we have already discussed in the videos the lexical analyzer is reading the input from the buffer character by character so what is the purpose of next character it reads the character what is available at the next in the input buffer okay now we see the method fail what is the purpose of this fail method when the character whatever it is reading from the input buffer the lexical analyzer while reading the input buffer 
uh, if why it is reading few characters when it realizes it does not belong to that relational operator lexeme then this method is invoked that is one purpose of the function the other purpose of this function is it will automatically initiate error correction phase because every phase of the compiler is capable of handling the errors so lexical analyzer also through this method it is initiating error correction phase which may try to repair the input then the last method what we have to discuss is retract it retracts the input pointer one position i'll explain with an example now assume that lexical analyzer is reading this less than symbol just by reading the less than symbol this lexical analyzer cannot come to the conclusion it is the operator less than no it cannot come to the conclusion it should check whether it is this less than is further followed by equal to or whether this less than is further followed by another greater than symbol if it is so then this is less than or equal to then this operator is not equal to so just by reading this less than it cannot come to the conclusion it cannot come to the conclusion that it is a less than operator so the lexical analyzer reads other input also after reading the other input only it can come to the conclusion it has read and relational operator less than so after reading this we are asking the input pointer retract retract means go one position back so that is what we explained here in the transition diagram also just by reading the less than symbol it will not return the attribute value lt after the lesson symbol it should be followed by some other symbol other means it should not be followed by either equal to or greater than symbol apart from this any other symbol if it is following this lesson symbol then only the lexical analyzer concludes that it is a relational operator whose attribute value is less than so in this case retract function is used so Uh, let us come back to the example after reading the lesson symbol now in this case it would have read the number 9 now this input pointer is pointing to this but while returning the token value it will retract to this position then only it will decide that it is a lexeme less than see students this question is very important transition diagram for relational operator transition diagram for identifier all these things are very important i hope you would have understood this please subscribe to my channel and then continue to watch thank you